had so many amazing opportunities in my life to meet and talk with working artists and to perform with truly gifted musicians. But I'm always up for another adventure. My music partner, Brian, along with my husband, George, and my kids all encouraged me to audition for the TV show, The Voice. I have once before done one of those singing auditions when there was an X Factor kiosk at my local mall in Tulsa, Oklahoma. You walk into a refrigerator box sized booth, punch a couple of buttons, sing your song, punch another button and leave, then wait six weeks to hear that your audition was not selected. I'm a very glass half full type of person, so I thought, why not try again? But this time there was a catch. I now live in rural Virginia, and there are no shopping malls with studio kiosks in them. And the nearest audition was in Atlanta, Georgia, a nine and a half hour drive away. And it just so happened that I had tickets to the J.D. McPherson concert in Richmond, Virginia, the night before the audition. You can see my interview with J.D. McPherson when you click on the link above. The concert in Richmond was only an hour and a half away, but that meant we still had an eight-hour drive to Atlanta after the concert and the interview. My son had been wanting to visit his cousin, who lives between Richmond and Atlanta, and so a plan was hatched. George would stay home with the dog, my son Will, and my music partner Brian and I would drive to see the concert, interview J.D. McPherson, get back in the car, drop Will off at his cousin's, We would all stay the night, then the next morning Brian and I would get up early, drive the rest of the way to Atlanta, audition for The Voice, drive back, pick up my son, and make the drive back home. Brian was really gung-ho, and I have to admit I appreciate his encouragement because I don't know that I would have done it otherwise. It was such a great experience, but not really what I expected. I was 56 years old at the time, so I'm not really sure what I expected, but it turns out The 30 seconds of audition singing was not where the juice was. It was in that feeling that I still have adventure in my life. That you're really never too old to do something thrilling. And that friends can help you believe in yourself. We arrived at my sister's and Will's cousin's house around 2 o'clock in the morning. We made it. We're here. Yay. We're at my sister's house. I'm covered in ketchup. Why are you covered in ketchup? Because there was ketchup. Oh, Oh, no. That's what I was telling you. We woke up the next morning to get back on the road. Good morning. It is a little after 6.30 in the morning, and we are up on Sunday morning. Is it Sunday or Saturday? Saturday. Oh, (laughs) it's Saturday morning. Oh, dear. Okay. Okay, we're at my sister's, and there's Brian over there. Can can you see you? Yeah. I don't need it. (laughs) Okay, Brian drove most of the way last night, and um, Uh, so I'm going to start us off driving this morning. And we've got about a five and a half, six hour drive to Atlanta, so we need to get on the road pretty soon. What are we doing? On the way to Atlanta, we ran into something that just doesn't exist for me since I moved from Oklahoma to Virginia. A quick trip convenience store. Oh my gosh, y'all. We found a quick trip. There is a quick trip. Confirmed that they were at a quick trip. We're at a quick trip. QT. Yeah. We're at a quick trip. Brian's all ready to smack it down and talk about how Wawa is better than quick trip, so. I'm about to find out. Hey, I'm, I'm open minded. Okay. I'm hoping that's a really. Anymore. I'll take that on faith. We're four hours away from Atlanta right now, so we're going to stop and get some coffee. Five hours is a long time to be in the car with someone. <laughs> we found some ways to pass the time. He wants me to turn him into an, into an opera singer. Soprano. A soprano opera singer here in the next um, hour or so we have till we get to Atlanta. I don't even know what Italian means. Yeah, he didn't like the Italian. So we had to change it to something more Americanized. I'm going to do the verse that we've created for our practice session. Yeah. And you're going to sing it back to me. All right. Ready? Deep breathing. Relax your shoulders. Relax your neck. Open your throat. Push everything toward your... In front of your mouth. It's a heart. It's a heart. I think you have some potential. All right, 
Beans, dude. Yeah. We've made it to Atlanta, but our parking space was about a half a mile from the audition venue. Right now. I'm frying. Burning calories. Yeah. Here we go. And then we found the building where the auditions happen on this bright Saturday in July 2019. I'll say a few words. Here we are. At the building. Oh, sure. It's a really long line. What are you going to sing? You wouldn't say almost is never enough. Almost is never enough. Okay. Alright, well, if you make it, I got the video. <laughs> See you guys. While in the outside line, we made friends with Megan and her boyfriend, Austin. Brian spent the afternoon with Austin while Megan and I got to know each other in the long waiting period that afternoon. This is Megan. She's going to be famous in a few weeks, so remember her. Oh, sure. After winding around the outside of the building, I must leave Thank Brian you. and prepare to enter the parking garage. Here I am at the zombie apocalypse. Yeah. Oh my gosh. This is what the auditions look like. I think this will prepare me for something in the future, but a singing career maybe not. The parking garage contained an even longer, super serpentine line filled with so many anxious and interesting people. It felt a little like hiding from the zombies during the apocalypse. I did make friends with people around me as we spent over six hours in line together in various environments. There was the ubiquitous trash table. I also had the chance to meet and photograph a friendly drag queen. Hope was high as we moved into an air-conditioned section of the building. All these people are inside, and I don't know what's going on over there, but something. people keep yelling from time to time, so I guess people get through the next round. And it's been a great day. People are super nice. Some are nervous, some are excited, and everybody's here because we have a dream. And that's pretty inspiring. Waiting where we could finally sit down was so satisfying. It was great getting to know people. Everyone had a story, from the young woman who took off work to come audition, and a guy whose audition was the reincarnation of Freddie Mercury, and another young man who would audition solo at the same time as his dad was auditioning solo next door, making it a family event. I became less concerned about my audition, and more concerned with the location of the bathroom. Jubilation. <laughs> After six hours of waiting for 30 seconds of singing, I was actually glad I did it. I talked to one of my line buddies afterwards. It was a long day, but it was oh, a good day. Oh, yeah. It was 
so glad I got to meet you. Well, no, let's source it for you on Facebook. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Send us some okay. stuff of you doing music it's now. No, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. It's, I have like a video, a recent video. Brian used the time I spent waiting in line to make new friends and explore downtown Atlanta. It was a long walk after a long day, but once we made it back to the car, I debriefed by phone with George. I don't feel like I didn't have personality, but 30 seconds is just not a long time to do personality. Right, well, sure. I feel really good. I didn't choke. I didn't forget my words. I didn't, you know, I didn't well, do a bad job. Go. I nailed all my notes. I was in the moment, and I felt like this was a good audition. Well, I'm glad you feel good about your effort. If you had not done this, you would have had so much opportunity to regret that decision. Now you've done it. And you I've done it. You have the story. You yep. have the you have the, have the experience and the and the telling of it. Well, now you own that now. Okay, there's the guy in front of us is having trouble getting his stuff out of the parking lot thing, and we're stuck behind him. So, yay, he figured it out. Okay. This was a great experience that I had. I met some really neat people. I saw what I could do. I know what I'm capable of, and I feel pretty great. Well, like I said, you have this story now. I that's know. what you had. That's, that's what you won, was this story. I know. I did. And I, and and I knew all along. We, we've discussed that before. Yep. Brian even did a Talking to People in Bars podcast while I was in auditioning. I'm glad that he's been there to support you. He was a, an awesome support, and now we're heading back to, uh, we're going to grab something to eat on the way and heading back to um, Carolina. And you'll be staying over up there. Yes, and driving back in the morning. Yeah. All right, very good. Okay. Well, tell me, tell me when you're back on the road again, all right? I will. Okay, baby. I love you. I love you, and thank you for supporting me, and you're the best. Yeah. An inspiration. I love you. I love you. I hope nobody feels disappointed on my behalf because that's the part that I probably am most worried yeah. about. Is that people All will right. be, oh, we really were hoping you would get this and, you know, I don't want anybody to think, uh, oh. Yeah, everybody wanted you to get it so that you would give them money. Make money and give them money. <laughs> <laughs> that's how it works. Now, more than ever, we need you to get win that lottery and write that and get that book published. After nearly a year... I'm still processing the meaning of my secret weekend getaway. Very few people know I made this trip, and that's probably why I've waited so long to vlog about it. I'm truly glad I did it. And moving forward in the audition process really hasn't done a number on my self-esteem. There were so many thousands of people there, all vying for a handful of spots. If you could have heard the voices in my 10-person audition room you would know that even on my best day, there are singers who can sing circles around me. And as long as you keep doing what you love, there's no danger in feeling humility from time to time. In fact, it may have made me work a little bit harder after the audition. I know I sing well, and I love making music. But really, more importantly, I know that there is no one who sings exactly like me. Have faith that your creative process is so much more important than a TV show or signing a record deal. What I want for everyone is to have the opportunity to be engaged in a creative process. Trust your instincts. Keep having adventures. Keep creating, whether it's creating a garden or a meal, making birdhouses or painting watercolors, writing songs, poetry, stories or choreographing a dance. Above all, create for the love of creation. Thanks for watching. Keep creating.
the back of the back of